Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make these bacon cheeseburger egg rolls. So let's get started with the video. We're going to begin by making the dipping sauce. In a bowl, add a half a cup of mayonnaise, three tablespoons of ketchup, three tablespoons of sweet relish, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, a half a teaspoon of sugar, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of pepper, one fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, and one fourth teaspoon of paprika. Once you've added all of your ingredients, mix everything together until well combined. When you have finished making your sauce, cover the bowl in plastic wrap or place your sauce in a container and then put it in the fridge until you're ready to use it. Next, we're going to prepare a seasoning mix to season our beef. In a small bowl, add 1 teaspoon of seasoned salt, 1 teaspoon of pepper, 1 teaspoon of onion powder, 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, and 1 teaspoon of paprika. Mix all of your seasonings together and then set your seasoning mix to the side. Next, in a large pan over medium heat, cook 4 slices of bacon. When the bacon is finished cooking, remove it from the pan and turn off the heat. Once the bacon has cooled, chop it into small pieces. Once you've finished chopping the bacon, set it to the side. Next, in the same pan you cook the bacon, add half a diced onion, and then cook the onions over medium heat for about 3-5 to five minutes. After sauteing the onions, add 1 tablespoon of minced garlic and then saute the garlic and onions for about 1 to 2 minutes. Next, add 1 pound of ground beef. Next, season and cook the beef until it has browned. Once your beef is cooked, add 1 tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Make sure the sauce is completely mixed in and then turn off the heat. Next, add the chopped bacon from before. Once everything is mixed together, you are all finished. This step is optional, but if you like pickles, then you can add diced pickles into your filling. Once you have finished making your filling, you can begin assembling your egg rolls. Lay out an egg roll wrapper and then place a piece of cheddar cheese or American cheese at the center. Then add 2-3 to three spoonfuls of your filling. Next, brush the edges of your egg roll wrapper with water. Take both vertical ends of your egg roll wrapper and place them together at the center. Then fold the horizontal end of your egg roll and place it at the center as well. Tuck and tightly roll your egg roll and at the end of your egg roll wrapper add a bit more water before you finish rolling. Now repeat this process until you've made all of your egg rolls.
Once you've finished folding and making your egg rolls, you can begin frying them. Fill a pot or deep fryer with vegetable oil and then heat it up to 350 degrees. Once the oil is hot, fry your egg rolls for about 3-5 to five minutes or until golden brown. Once your egg rolls have finished cooking, take them out of the oil and place them on a wire rack to cool. Repeat this process until you've cooked all of your egg rolls. Once you finish frying your egg rolls, you can go ahead and enjoy. And this is the finished result. These egg rolls are crispy, cheesy, and taste delicious. The beef is well seasoned and the egg rolls taste great with the dipping sauce. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!